The Exorcist, believer filmmaker David Gordon Green talks Taylor Swift, Tea Time with Ellen Burstyn and what he's directing next. As he was finishing up his Halloween sequel trilogy, David Gordon Green was ready to take another left turn in a career full of left turns, but then Jason Bloom tempted him with the idea of giving The Exorcist, 1973, its own sequel trilogy treatment. In 2021, Universal and Peacock reportedly paid $400 million for the rights to the storied horror franchise that the late great William Friedkin kicked off alongside Ellen Burstyn, Linda Blair, Jason Miller, and Max von Sydow. Green's legacy sequel revolves around the parents of two possessed teenage girls, Lydia Jewett and Olivia O'Neill, as they turn to Chris McNeil, Burstyn, for help in dealing with the demonic foe that took control of her now estranged daughter, Reagan, Linda Blair, in the 1973 film. Green currently has outlines for the next two chapters of his Exorcist sequel trilogy, and while he once had plans to co-write and direct all three chapters, he's not quite ready to say if he's definitely directing April 2025 as The Exorcist, Deceiver or the eventual trilogy capper. My intention is just to start making things, and as those plans come together, if I find myself in that The Exorcist, Deceiver director's chair, I'd be thrilled, Green says. But right now, I'm navigating it from a story perspective and looking at my realities of life as I pivot. Green finished his direct sequel to Friedkin's Oscar-winning classic just two and a half weeks ago, and prior to the latter's August passing, Green fully intended to invite Friedkin to a screening. The late filmmaker, who won the Best Director Oscar for The French Connection, 1971, wasn't shy about his lack of enthusiasm for the franchiseification of his 1973 film, so Green admits that it would have been a formidable experience. Like so many people, Ellen Burstyn included, I know that there was skepticism at the beginning of this undertaking, but I was excited to show it to Friedkin, Green says. As it came together, I found myself more and more proud of what we'd done. And so it's disappointing that I don't get to expose myself in that way, which would, no joke, be really intimidating. But I was ready to have that conversation and I was ready to invite him to experience this if he was up for it. Like the previous Exorcist sequels and many films in the horror genre, Believer hasn't connected with critics, but it's tracking for a solid opening weekend that could be as high as $30 million.